Hello, I'm Harlan. Now I'm a son of God, and I'm the only one can tell you about end time. Now watch and you'll know what end time is. As Bible worshippers was watching for the Antichrist or a big earthquake, God was destroying the old harlot. Your house is already left to you desolate. Now watch what the debt was when George Bush the first went in. Two trillion dollars. Now keep up with that. Watch and follow me on this, and you'll see how you're already destroyed. The nation is not going to be weakened. It's already weakened. You remember I'd get up for five years. It was four, four, four. What it meant was the four presidents from George Bush. I've seen his finger cut off. And I asked the Lord, what does that mean? He said, it means it's going to be weakened. See, he started war with Ishmael's children. He's the first one that started. One of the biggest liars in history. Read my lips, no new taxes, and he raised taxes. The Bush family is the biggest liars in the world. And that's why God put them in there, to destroy the Bible worshipers, this old harlot that sets up on many waters. And they are now being destroyed, and they're already destroyed. Your house is left to you desolate. See, when I seen his hand, and his right finger was missing. I knew he was going to be president. This was in July of 1988. He didn't, wasn't elected till November of 88. But God showed it to me. And now I know in time, I understand it. You pay attention, and you'll understand what's going on in the world. You see. In fact, this is killing Bible worshipers because the Koran worshipers are being blessed by God. They're winning. They're real. They're surreal all. They keep it. See, Bible worshipers are false prophets. All they do is play. They don't have, they won't give their life for their religion, but surreal people will. Now notice when he left office, it's four trillion dollars. He doubled, he spent more than all the other 40 presidents. In 200 and some years, he put more on the taxpayers back. He took the poor people and took all your money and now you're in debt and you can never get out. Watch this, keep up with this. Now this one here, is a sign of adultery. See, the old harlot that sets up on many waters has committed fornication with all the kings of the earth. This is your fornicator here. Now watch what the debt was when he started. Four trillion. So follow me and you're going to see what's going on in the world. And I'm the only one that can tell you. Okay. Now, when George Bush's finger was missing, God was setting up kings. Now notice what a derivative is. They let people with no money buy a home, goes to the mortgage to the bank, the bank piles up the mortgages and puts them all together, sells it to a bank, and then the writ derivatives and sells the derivatives to the investors. And that's what caused the big crash. Bill Clinton caused that. But now notice this. Bill had Hillary over a barrel. Now you've got to understand this to understand these kings. And this is what God's doing. He's setting up devils you you voted for Barabbas, so you're getting Barabbas in your White House. That's what you're getting. Bill Clinton couldn't have children. He could, he testified many times, said he had mumps when he was little. He could not have children. So where did Chelsea come from? So you see Webb Hubbard, and he looks she looks just like him. And so this was what was in the White House, and this was evil. And so he was with hundreds of different women. And they claimed he had the babies by him. Well, that's a lie. He proved them all to be liars because he couldn't have babies. And uh, he was a, a fornicator that had uh, fornication right in the White House office. So this is what you get when you're a Bible worshiper and you don't love God. Now, he only put a trillion dollars on. He spent the poor people's money more than he should have, but he was the fornicator. He was the adulterer. And that's what Bible worshipers has done. They've committed fornication with all the kings of the earth. Now, here's one of the biggest liars that ever walked on planet earth. He had the DNA of his father, you see. They had no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. But because Saddam Hussein had tried to kill his daddy, he's going to get even with him one way or the other. Now, notice the debt on George Bush Jr. It was $5 trillion. Keep that in mind. Now, follow me, and you're going to see what's going on in the world and you're already destroyed. Your house is already left to you desolate. Now, he sent Colin Powell up to the United Nations, and Colin Powell sat there and told the biggest lie, and he hates himself ever since he told that big lie. He said Iraq 
had weapons of mass destruction. That was a lie. There was no weapons of mass destruction in, a, in Iraq. But this got Bush to tell people. And you see, Bush got all the evangelicals to vote for him. Now, he caused the death of 650,000 Muslims, mostly Sunnis. The Sunnis is the biggest part of Ishmael. They have about a billion, 400 million people. The Shia only has about 200 million. That's why Obama got a deal with Iran. They're Shia. That's why he won't kill Assad out of Syria. He's a Shia. See, Saudi Arabia and them, they're Sunnis. Now, this war will never end. It will continue forever. God has put it in their hearts to destroy the old harlot that sets upon many waters. And they are faithful to their faith. See, Bush caused the death of 4,000 soldiers and 32,000 got wounded because he was getting even with Saddam Hussein for trying to kill his daddy. He done all that and lied. Biggest liar that was ever on earth. And you're being destroyed because you voted him. You evangelicals voted Bush in. Now he started with 5 trillion and now it went to 10 trillion. And a common person don't even know what a trillion is. They have trouble with billions or millions. A trillion, you can't even count to a trillion. That is a lot of money. And you can never, ever, ever pay that off. Now here's your Almadi. This is this is the way. Now think about now think with me. You've got to think like a son of God. How did God get Moses in Pharaoh's house? Moses means one drawn out of the water. His uh, Pharaoh's daughter was down there, and Moses came out, and he was such a fair child, she took him home with him. Well, you see, what happened? A Bible worshiper, now notice that the debt was 10 trillion when he started. Notice this. A Bible worshiper, his mother was a Bible worshiper. She married a Muslim. That got the Al Mahdi in charge of America, the Muslim becoming in charge of America because this one drawed out of the water. It's like the, this is great to all the Muslim people. They say, we've got a Muslim in the White House. Now, that's true. Now, Michelle Obama got all your food stamps, your, your public housing, and your health care, but he's got to deal with Iran. He's the one that won't uh, bomb out them trucks that's hauling oil. He'll, he'll drop leaflets on them because some of them are Shia. See, he don't want to bomb them. And he, he traded old bird dog for five uh, fighters from the Muslim people. And, and old bird dog was a traitor. So he'll do that. He'll close down Guantanamo Bay because he's a Muslim. That's what happened. While you was watching for the big Antichrist to raise up, you, you Bible worshipers are watching for an earthquake, God done slipped a Muslim in the White House. That's the same way he did see him bound down to him. This is the al -Mahdi. And so that's the same way God did with Moses in Pharaoh's house. And that's how he delivered. So God's going to deliver us from all these Bible worshipers. And this harlot that sets upon many waters, you're going to be completely destroyed. The war is started and God's fighting against Bible worshipers. And he's on the side of the Koran worshipers. Now, I, I know Bible worshipers hate to hear that, but that's the truth. He put it in their hearts to hate this old whore. And they hate her now because they kill hundreds of thousands of his people without any reason. Now, notice what's happening. This is where you're at today. America's being weakened. Now, think about Russia. What, what tore up the Soviet Union of Russia? They was this Afghanistan for 15 years. That broke Russia. Now, notice Obama's got already added 8 trillion, and by the time he gets out, it'll be 20 trillion. He'll add 10 trillion, or 10 trillion dollars to the national debt. Now, he's in Argentina, dancing there, while America burns. The Bible's an idol. The Bible's the mark of the beast. Yeah.